Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. As you can see the weather. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the 2015 Maruti Omni and this car comes courtesy of Raghavan to me who is Tharun's cousin brother whose dad actually owns the car. Raghavan's dad that is. And you can see why am I giving you family relationships makes no sense. Let's concentrate on the car facile. Why are you losing the plot? Any which ways I've already made a dedicated vlog of the Omni e earlier but I thought ekor kar lete hain kyunki kyon nahi. And you can see it's very plain and basic a design. It's very small in terms of size. The length is actually I kid you not the length is 3.3 meter slightly more than that but this one is obviously longer because of this crash guard the omni was discontinued because it did not meet new crash test norms but people think by putting this it will start to meet crash test norms no it will only get worse however everything is plain and basic okay and this car was on sale for 35 years you can see the indicator functioning the cover has been removed so that the intensity is better oh my god the light is nice and bright and this runs an fmr layout which is front mid engine rear wheel drive yeah this is a rear wheel drive vehicle why mid engine because the engine is right here below the driver seat i kid you not this is where the engine is the driver is actually sitting on the engine which is the same one as the maruti 800 and you can obviously latch the seat front seats are decently comfortable there's a cup holder here no door pockets regular windows i mean no power function there and you can see the pedals lot of exposed bits i think this is for the air conditioning compressor which is exposed the glove box obviously opens but it is locked at the moment and there's a lot of stuff inside which i should not see some storage here as well air conditioning controls there's a provision for an audio system you can put a double din as well or you can keep stuff there so lot of compartments here a cigarette lighter because kidnappers usually smoke that is what the study says four speed gearbox this is the handbrake perfect for handbrake turns but since your rear wheel drive you don't need to do that no dimming for the mirror there's no mirror here there is no mirror here in fact there's a light here which works which is amazing okay the steering wheel is kind of big the horn it's decent as well and you can see the speedometer it's reading 20 km per hour right now because in the metaverse this omni does not stop it continues its kidnapping duties there is the temperature meter here and a fuel meter here and an odometer there is no trip meter in this car tell tell lights are placed almost everywhere let's do one thing let's turn on the car okay there must be some trick i think the car is not starting which is even more dangerous now but honestly it does start there it goes it was actually in gear no power assist it does not need it because real men don't need power steering of course it's a very narrow car wipers they work of course yeah and let's use the spray i don't know whether spray is coming but certainly making some sound but it's not effective let's rev this engine rev it and see it moving as well ah huh? such a revolutionary thing to do but there's not much space on offer here which is a bit of a disappointment anyways this indicator which has been given here it also has a carry guard or whatever you want to call that so that you can carry luggage of the people you kidnap of course and let's just do one thing let's turn off the car and let's keep the indicators on actually now the spare wheel is actually placed here that's right it is placed right there a <laughs> pretty weird position for a spare wheel this side step has been added or probably it is the crash guard for the side and window area is also big enough this is the sliding mechanism this is where the fuel actually goes tire size is very chintu mintu this is 145 12 yeah 145 is the width and 12 inches the size of the tire of course now let's come to the rear black bumper again very squarish a car and that is the exhaust we get a real exhaust which is very much visible it runs on leaf springs you can see the leaf springs right now that's why ride is bad that's why you know owners are compelled to kidnap people so that they increase the weight of the vehicle to improve the ride quality of the car says maruti suzuki here lights are kind of basic and omni right there it was actually launched as the maruti van in 1984 and then in 1988 they called it uh, they start calling it omni wheel arches protrude inside boot carrying capacity is massive but you know what you can get it as an 8 seater with side facing seat so there are multiple options in that regard there is no rear wiper washer and all all that it this car does not need it's too revolutionary it doesn't need all that it's so aerodynamic now it's like a refrigerator <laughs> and this thing obviously slides so that you can get inside says omni here nice stickering as well and then body cladding now the thing is rear passengers do not get a head there are no headrest there is no seat belt or there is i mean there are seat belts but there is no place to put the seat belts legroom is amazing 
under thighs about is poor knee room is also very nice in fact check this out oh my god this is absolute luxury but look at the under thighs about headroom is nice but you can get the xl version which has taller height <laughs> there's a handle to hold on to there's a light placement here on the side which works i'm quite impressed mm hard stuff stuff that makes noise never mind i really like it but these seat belts now weird okay they are not the three point belt of course they don't go back so you have to adjust the length from here some effort there you can see the beautiful dashboard right there and it's so easy to close the door you know look at this i just push it and it shuts windows open sliding way so that you can bring in some airy feel inside this cabin but that's about it is not oh my god this jams itself i thought it, the car is self kidnapping talking about autonomous kidnapping function this car has that as well it's an amazing car trust me on it no matter how much fun you make of it it's a car which served for 35 years and gave employment to so many people including ambulances save lives there and of course we'll talk all about that when you're driving so let's go straight away So I will start this video by showing you this revolutionary reverse assist system in this car which uses hybrid system solar charge look at the car it is going backwards without even the engine being on that is the level of performance this omni has to offer isn't this unbelievable and if i was kidding the speedometer would not work look at the speedometer it is jumping all over the place because this feature works fantastically well yeah there 20 10 and what not anyways let's break and let's turn on the car straight away oh there it rose to life into first get handbrake up revving the motor and handbrake down and off we go oh my god the speedometer jumps like crazy i've never seen any car including the bugatti chiron which i have sat in accelerate so brutally 0 to 100 km per hour in microseconds that's the level of performance and when you're coming around the corner now you have to pray that you don't topple because obviously the car is very top heavy speedometer is like insane a mind of its own and you know what you get a real good view of what's around because you're sitting right ahead and that is the real problem of this car because there's no space up front to put the crumble zones it could not meet emission norms otherwise it would still be on sale now here we are going to take a turn which means little aggression and oh my god plenty of body roll as well right quality is actually quite bad because of the leaf springs at the rear now this is a 796 cc engine which is a three cylinder unit same motor also powers the maruti 800 but here i'm sitting on the engine rather than the engine being ahead so i don't know how it breathes but it does breathe because performance is decent enough because of the light weight of this car 785 kg is the weight depending on how many people you carry the weight will obviously alter important feature in this car being the horn of course gearbox is okay fine it's not very bad as such and you know what is problem is of course it is that uh, the clutch is kind of soggy and the steering has so much play it doesn't really offer you feel or feedback but it's not supposed to because the top speed itself is 100 km per hour in fact <laughs> This car has no brakes it wavers almost everywhere uh, as you increase the speed now the steering does not react only the car has a mind of its own at one moment i thought we are going to topple unfortunately we did not but uh, oh god it moves all over the place and yeah it's showing 60 at 5 km per hour that's the level of performance is next level can't go in these bumps because you can feel quite a lot of it small wheels now so bigger bumps can be felt badly inside and i was thinking only i am facing all the issues well this guy has more guts than me because that car has minus power this one still has 37 horsepower and 62 newton meters of torque well, that is first gear red line now we are in second gear oh my god the bumps really scare me silly Yeah, this speedometer. How does it move all over the place? Actually, even my seat is moving all over the place and the driver seat is adjustable. You can move it ahead and behind. That's another revolutionary feature. Let's get into fourth gear for the very first time. So right now we are in fourth gear. Now somehow it feels better. Anyway, it is actually not bad at all at lower speeds. It's only when you rip apart the engine you can feel that crazy three cylinder vibes and then you can feel more of it because you're sitting on the engine there. The drone is coming. Oh my god, big bump. Yeah, right is not bad yaar. I expected it to be worse but because of the small wheels and the small size but it does a decent job. You know why? Because this car is having a soft suspension, very very softy softy. Now, this was the cheapest van in the world for a very long time. On sale for 35 years, updated multiple times. This being the 2015 model is BS4 compliant as well. So yeah, emits lesser 
couldn't understand how this was on sale till 2019 and the 800 did not make it even with the same engine even with the four speed gearbox simply do not understand the logic behind it but hey that's how life is because in 2020 this car was replaced by the eco the maruti eco and that one obviously has some space at the front now so it was able to meet uh, crash test norms as they could put Anyways, so the Eco was able to meet the new crash test now because they could put the crumble zones right ahead. I just wish the Omni comes back in my dreams because the car was very unsafe. Performance was nice, but in terms of value for money, unbelievable. Fuel efficiency was also nice. 20 km per litre is what it could give you. Out on the highway, it cannot maintain speed. Top speed is only 100, which means beyond 70 km per hour, it struggles quite a lot. And I don't know why all old cars are running around me. So I'm driving the Omni and there is the OG Sandro right next to me. That one is the Zip plus Zip Drive. I don't know. I can't see what's written there. You have to avoid the bumps. Steering is so much plainer. You really do not know where the car is going. So you just kind of pray that it goes in the right direction. I don't know why the speedometer just moves all over the place has a mind of its own it's a very weird speedometer so uh, it gets into higher gear now thing is that everything wraps around the driver there was also an lpg version and then they also had cargo versions which did not have any seats at the rear so you could carry cargo there was an ambulance version there were delivery versions They're like crazy amount of versions maruti really made a lot of money from the omni of course and that's one of their cash cows or was one of their cash cows but then they could not keep selling it for eternity if they could they would definitely still be selling it the horn is like it's inside it's not outside because i can hear it more than the guy ahead because if he had heard it he would have moved but he did not he's still in the same place as before brakes are very weak yeah every time you apply brakes you just pray that will the car stop even though it is very light in terms of weight and then you're not going really fast you feel that you're going fast because you're sitting right ahead and because of sitting so far ahead like the view is so amazing now you can maneuver this car amazingly well through traffic like you can just like zip zap zoop that was the tagline of the Sandro, i believe zip drive but you know why you can do that purely because this car is light and peppy enough so engine is kind of responsive however the problem is steering is like <laughs> having crazy amount of play and no feel or feedback so that becomes a little bit of a difficulty here we're going to take a u-turn you don't feel the lack of power steering because of the light weight of this car i still manage that turn without much of a hesitation yeah baby okay come on third third is a bit of a issue here because i think some chewing gum is stuck inside so you really have to nudge it forward otherwise it doesn't get activated at all now since traction control is off i'm kind of worried will this rear wheel drive car go out of control and spin there probably not because there's so much grip from the tires i'm just kidding grip levels are okay okay but then you don't really push it so there's no issue there's no oversteer now zero oversteer if anything this car can understeer because of of course the way it has been calibrated without any power now is the time to launch it revving the motor you have to continuously give opposite lock honestly i don't know where the car is going where i'm steering but i'm somehow managing to keep myself on the road and not be in that jungle on the side because there is no connection between the wheels and the steering wheel they're like in a different tangent altogether that's kind of awkward it shows you're doing 100 kilometers per hour i can bet you you're not doing more than 70 kilometers per hour but <laughs> the speedometer is hitting 120 kilometers per hour as well look at the way it vibrates man what a crazy ass speedometer is this a speedometer or a joke so on that disappointment it's time to end thank you so much for watching guys if you like this vlog uh, give it the thumbs up before I topple this vehicle and do an end cap test. Can I take a U-turn from here without reverse? That is the beauty of the Omni. Check this out, okay guys? No power steering. Nobody gives a jack about it. But here, the turning radius is amazing. But I f***ed it up, so that's messed. Thing is that seat is open now. So every time I accelerate, it gives me the feel that I'm driving a Bugatti Chiron with a level of pushback in the seat. Now, downhill assist activated. Yeah, baby!